hi guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is anna and today i decided to do a bit of a different video for you guys when it comes to crystals and collecting and hauls and all that fun stuff so a lot of people have asked me how i got started where i started buying my crystals you know some of those fun little things so i just decided why not sit down do a video share with you guys how i started my crystal journey where i started it the reasons why i started it right because sometimes people are young and they start certain things when they're young so i know a lot of people have told me oh i started collecting crystals when i was a little kid because you know i'd go out hiking and this and i would love to pick up rocks and and just i've heard so many stories of how people started their collections and how they got inspired and why they started collecting so i decided hey why not i sit down tell you guys how i started my journey why if there are things that i didn't hit on or questions that you guys still have please leave them down in the comment section down below i will definitely you know i might not hit on everything and if you guys are curious or wanted to know more feel free to leave a comment i would definitely answer you guys so yeah let's get right into it so i started collecting crystals i want to say officially about three years ago so i'm not someone that's been collecting for years i am not a you know crystal guru or anything like that by any means but the reason i started is because i found myself in not necessarily a dark place because i wasn't depressed but i did i was dealing with a lot of anxiety um it was something that i dealt with when i was younger and i thought like you know that phase is over i got out of it i was able to move on with my life and you know went to school did what i had to do graduated college went to work and then all of a sudden a lot of my anxiety came back now not for the same reason Reasons, right because my anxiety when I was younger is completely different from like adult anxiety right so I think it was just a matter of being out of school having to pay my own bills having to find my own way figure it out work and all that um i think it just really got to me to be honest with you guys uh you know when you're younger everything's taken care of for you your parents you know hopefully hold a roof under your head they make you meals they buy you everything you need you go to college and you kind of so i went away from college i didn't stay home and commute for to school i actually went away so i'm from new york city and i went to vermont for college so that's a good like five six hours away from home so it wasn't even something where i can just jump and be home like you know within an hour or something like i was far away um so i feel like you know that kind of you start becoming an adult kind of there because your parents aren't there you're not under their roof anymore you're making your own decisions going to school trying to do life trying to figure things out right and then when i got out of school you know it's a big kind of like shock well not shock but you kind of are prepared but you don't realize just how much it takes a toll on you to start having to pay bills to figure it out to find a job you know i wasn't someone where i either went to the family business or new connections and got a job like right before i graduated that was not the case at all i had come back to new york city i had to figure it out by myself i sent out my resume to so many places i think just all of that and then finally finding a job but then having bills to pay it just all takes a toll on you i feel so some people can manage and they're fine other people's get anxiety other people get depression who knows you know things work differently for everyone you know not everyone is going to have the same story so for me personally i just started to get a lot of anxiety and it got to a point where i honestly i could still function but it definitely was having physical impacts on me i was definitely getting down on myself i felt very stuck in life you know so it's just it, it wasn't a good feeling at all i was by no means depressed but i definitely felt lost and i had a lot of anxiety about everything and i don't even i can't even remember what led me to you know oh anna start buying crystals see if that i don't even know what led to that i i don't know i think so what had happened was i want to say during the time when i started buying crystals i also started as you guys know i have my own youtube channel now but i only really started actively posting videos on youtube about a year ago right and two years previous to that is when i really just got into youtube like watching it so i really love to watch like families i love to watch um, makeup tutorials people who vlog daily things like that so i think i started to see a lot of people and their videos and i saw from time to time people would mention crystals and for some reason in my head it finally clicked why not try crystals and i didn't want to try crystals to help my anxiety it was just more of 
I really liked what their meanings and what they did for people so I didn't really think it was gonna help with my anxiety I just thought I really have noticed a lot of people mentioning crystals in their videos why not I just get some for me and see if not necessarily if it does anything but i just really like how nice they looked how people had them displayed in their homes so i was like you know what let me try crystals and you know just see what they're about and trying it out for my anxiety it was more of i really liked how they looked in the home they were beautiful so i thought why not so i actually started buying my crystals off of ebay now i know how some people have mentioned hey ebay is not bad like you can get great crystals great prices i'm not saying ebay is bad but when i posted my first ever i think it was my crystal collection someone had mentioned hey have you ever tried instagram lives and i was like no i haven't let me look into it so i started purchasing my crystals from ebay then i went to instagram and let me tell you guys ever since i started collecting crystals my anxiety has so i still do deal with anxiety but it's a lot more manageable now i know how to control it better um i do have things that give me anxiety from time to time but i don't let them you know get me down anymore i don't dwell on it as much so i have to say crystals have just become such a form of just healing for me if that makes sense um and not in the matter of i don't actually meditate with my crystals yet i haven't gotten into that yet but just having them around me just brings such positive energy and such positive feelings into my life it's really crazy so just like a lot of beginner crystal um buyers i guess that's what we'll call them crystal buyers uh like i was myself i bought like you know your common crystals rose quartz amethyst things like that and i automatically felt like just a positive and amazing energy from them but then i also noticed that i needed crystals to just help me in life because i felt stuck okay i felt very lazy so yes i had a job i'm working nine to five making good money paying my bills but I felt stuck because what I do, I personally still have no idea what I want to do with my life. No idea. You can ask me and I still have no idea, okay? <laughs> I work at a job right now that I absolutely love. My boss is amazing. My colleagues are great. I get along with a lot of people. So I absolutely love what I do. So to be honest, can I be there for the rest of my life? Probably because I actually really like the people I work with. I don't mind being there for the rest of my life because right now in this moment, I don't know what I want to do. I still really don't know. Um, I don't know if crystals will help with that, you know, further down the line. They might, but I don't know. Um, I know if you guys have seen some of my hauls, I've said that I possibly might become a crystal seller. Again, I don't know. I don't 100% know what I want to do, but we'll see. Whatever life takes me it takes me i feel like everyone has a path everyone is meant for something so you know one day hopefully it'll just click for me and i'll figure it out but for now i don't know what i want to do i don't know what profession i want to get in but i love the people i work with and the job i have now so i honestly think i'll be there for a few years but the problem is is before i started collecting crystals hardcore and really getting into them and their meanings and really trying to get crystals that i need for myself I felt stuck. I felt like, yes, I have a great job. I love my boss. I love the people I work with. But I was thinking, what's next? And that was getting me kind of upset because it's like I see so many people accelerating, like people I've graduated with, accelerating, doing these big things, going up and up, getting promotions. And I'm so happy for them. Like I never felt like, oh, like ill. I'm so happy and grateful that my friends have gotten, you know, better, have gotten promotions. I'm so happy for all of them. But then it made me feel stuck because I'm still where I'm at. Yeah, I do get raises every year, but I'm not you know going up and up and up but maybe that's just not meant for me maybe not right now and that's okay and that's what i realized but before i felt so stuck so then i really started getting crystals that help with creativity that help with blockages so i kind of got unstuck i kind of started figuring things out you guys don't even understand let me tell you guys i have been saying i wanted to make a youtube channel years ago years ago i was saying i'm gonna do this i'm gonna start my channel i'm gonna be productive and i didn't do any of that once i started getting crystals that targeted like blockages creativity I started my channel i started my channel a year ago and it's been over a year and i've made such an amazing family on here i've gotten so many supporters i've gotten so many people that have reached out on instagram and we're friends now and we talk like all the time via dm and stuff 
And let me tell you guys, that probably, I mean, would that have happened on my own? Possibly, but I felt so stuck and just so defeated. And crystals really helped me kind of be like, motivate me. They just helped me. They helped, they gave me that push that I needed. They helped me start a channel. They helped me be more creative. They helped me start an Etsy account and sell some of my crystals. Like, that's what's really amazing. And, you know, again, some people will say crystals are just rocks. You know, there's nothing fancy about them they don't really do anything you know whatever these are just expensive classy fancy rocks guys no if you let them do what they are meant to do if you really believe in them if you give them that power they will do amazing things for you because let me tell you guys a year ago i was not motivated i felt very stuck i felt very alone i felt you know everybody else is doing these great things and living a great life and i'm here like yeah i have a job but what else am i doing like i don't know so I am so glad that I decided to invest in these other crystals because they really helped kind of unblock me, get my creative juices going. You guys don't know how long I was talking about doing a YouTube channel and then I finally did it, right? And then I was telling my boyfriend all the time, I was like, I would love to be a crystal seller. Like, I would love to do something like that. And he was like, start an Etsy, like, you know, start an Etsy account. See what happens. Like, see if people buy your crystals. And then if they do buy your crystals, maybe you start doing lives yourself and you start really becoming a crystal seller. And, you know, in my head, I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. And then I finally did it. And people actually buy my crystals. They like what I have to offer. And it's like, I can do this. And then I felt a sense of, Anna, you could do this. And it's okay if you don't know where you're going to be or where you're going. Like, you know, at least you're doing things. Like, you're doing something that, number one, is making you, you know, a different source of income, right? So, I do make money off of YouTube now. I do make money off my Etsy. And I have my 9 to 5 job. So, technically, I have three jobs that I'm currently juggling. Um, but I'm killing it. Like, I'm not slacking, which is so surprising because... If you saw me a year ago when I was unmotivated, when I just came home and watched TV and did nothing and like stayed home on the weekends and didn't do much and was just like lazy and had no motivation to where I am now is so insane and such a 360 and I honestly, I mean I do think a lot of it is me but I also do credit a lot of it to my crystals because I didn't have that motivation. I didn't have that drive and now I'm so motivated. You guys motivate me when you leave your comments that are so thoughtful and so sweet and you guys tell me how much you love my videos, how much the hauls make you feel at peace and calm and just you're so happy to watch them when you see that I post a haul. That makes me so happy. That motivates me so much. You guys don't even know. Like I can't repay you because honestly it's my crystals it's me but it's also you guys who keep me going and keep me motivated honestly because it's really sad if i kept going down that path that i was in a year ago i don't know what would have happened i could have definitely fallen into some type of depression into a negative place honestly who knows but i am so happy and so thankful that these crystals have changed my life youtube has changed my life. getting to know you guys and a lot of my supporters has really changed my life too i have made such amazing friends here that you know started off with a comment in youtube then ended up dming me on instagram and now we talk like on a daily i love that like it's just so amazing so honestly that is my story that is how i came from being completely unmotivated having really bad anxiety to such a better place now and i honestly do think a lot of it has to do with crystals if you guys really you know if you really gravitate towards them if you're thinking of them like i've had a lot of people comment in my comment section saying oh this is great i'm thinking of starting a collection start a collection look into the crystals look into their meanings i also want to start doing on this channel um i really want to start getting into deeper meanings of these crystals so i want to show you what crystals are good for blockages what crystals are good for creativity because there was so much i didn't know about crystals and there were so many different crystal meanings that i didn't know about and the crystals that i got like the reason why i'm so motivated and creative now is because of a lot of these crystals so let me know in the comment section down below if you guys would be interested to know like good crystals for anxiety good crystals for um creativity good crystals for blockages let me know because i could definitely do 
some videos on that and educate you guys more on what crystals will help that and i will also personally share like what crystals i felt very close to and helped me in these different stages of my life and trying to figure things out so let me know if you guys would be interested in that and yeah i mean i think that's my crystal journey and i am so happy where i am at now i am by no means going to stop um loving crystals i get new crystals on a regular i love learning about them i love teaching you guys about them when you watch my videos so i feel like crystals will definitely probably be in my life forever for the rest of my life just because they have impacted me so much and have helped me out in life that i really feel like i can turn to them when i feel really down or have you know certain situations happening in my life so i definitely think crystals will be a huge part of my life i might even go on and become a seller or do more with it who knows but yeah that's my story that's how i started that's where i'm at now and yeah just crystals have been such an amazing blessing in my life so yeah i hope that is helpful i hope that gave you guys a little bit more knowledge about me and kind of where i started my journey and where i am at now i would love to hear your guys's journey if you would comment down in the section down below tell me where you guys started um tell me a crystal that has impacted you guys a lot in your life i would be more than happy to hear about it and yeah guys i thank you guys so much for watching and as usual more crystal videos to come bye guys